What's up guys, we're back with some Melee Mondays, and today we'll be showcasing some of the Uncle Punch training mod. This is actually a really useful tool, I just got it yesterday. I was reluctant to get it, I was lazy or whatever, but yeah, some of these training tools are just really useful. Especially just like the indicators, it kind of shows you like how fast you're doing things. Uh, for example, let's do combo training. Uh, sure, Final Destination. But even just like when you do uh just like your normal stuff the act out of weights nice shows you like oh how much faster can i be moving uh you could right i need to put ucf on you could put ucf on and then you can put like different indicators on too to see what or how fast you could be doing things and whatnot maybe it's just that one um yeah, so you do like something like... Oh, if, if I dash, I'm not gonna be able to see the act. So, yeah, I just wanna do like clean fares into up tilt, let's say. It's like, oh, I was two frames late from being perfect. That was good. Or one frame being late. You do, uh, it shows like how fast you act out of auto cancels as well. And of course, you could just practice, uh, chain grabbing or any other combos too. Ah, dang. Yeah, and then it'll reset automatically once it's not a combo. Goes into tech chasing too, so... Yeah, I think you can just practice tech chasing too. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna be too late, so I'll get spots that are shined right there. Yep, not gonna reach. Miss text. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm really bad at tech chasing, but yeah, you can work on anything. Is as long as uh you continue to tech chase, the thing won't reset to you. So yeah, there's that. There's other things to practice. Like uh, I didn't know how to arms attack before, and then uh, yeah, I was finally able to do it here. So just taunt to set it up, and then whoops. Uh, down and away. Down on the C stick and then down and away on the analog. Missed it again. There you go. Yeah, and what's pretty cool is uh they have like the tutorials too for uh well for the things that they do have. And it's uh, just referencing like YouTube videos that have those tutorials, which is super cool. Um, except the Amsa Tech one was misleading because they actually set down in towards for the analog when it should be down in a way. But that's fine, at least they have some of this stuff. Uh, SDI, like, honestly, never knew how to even get out of this. And then, what was it? I think I just tapped it left once and it was enough, actually. See, I don't know if that's gonna work every time for a no DI up there up here. Cause... Yeah, like, if I can... <laughs> I don't know how else I would add more inputs. I don't, I don't know how to become Wizzy, you know? But if that works every time, I'm 100% down to just try that. Like, look at this. I know his up air is probably lazy. It could be like a deeper up air or some shit, but, you know. That'd be nice if, uh... That's if that's all it takes. I'm try to use like C stick as well. I'm not sure if it's helping. Nope. Maybe after that smash, I should just add, try to add a quarter circle input. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's like if this can get me out, I'll never di away. Yeah, I won't even di away. Have them do like a straight up. Straight up up there, and then I'll just uh, tap left, and I'm out of there. Nah, dang. Not the easiest to hit. Then maybe I'll fall down with like a, some type of counter attack. Try back air this man. Got him. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, something like that. I didn't even really try to ever practice SDI, because there was no real tool to do it. You know, it's like get up throw up there by a fox and then I'm just mashing my controller and didn't really have anything that's like 
They just repeat this to practice. So yeah, that's very nice. Reversal. Oh. Um. Yeah, it's like as Fox or something. Fox Falco or someone would get up smash. You practice up smashes out of shield. Up B's out of shield. Maybe up B out of shield. So, yeah, let's get it. Hit me with a random smash attack. Ah. Yeah, you could drift forward for Ganon's up B. Um. You can kind of see like what works too. Let's say uh, up smash. Let's see if I can stomp it up smash. A little slow. Maybe. I mean, I have to be probably close to. Really close. So, probably would not be viable. See, but it's possible. Look. And the way that the thing works is like, if you wait too long, he'll just become invincible again. Like that white colored state. It's like, yeah, I can't hit him. So, yeah, that stomp was. It was guaranteed. But again, you need to be close. So, it's like, even if there's a bit of spacing. Ganon stomp, not gonna work. So yeah, you can test these type of things. And Falcon would probably get it easily. Um, what else? Up B's, up smash. Let me try and up smash to counter his smash attack. Whoops. Ah, dang. Ah, uh, what am I doing? I just want shield stop. Okay, well that's not gonna work. Try, you can do like the wave. Wave dash out of shield too. Try to get grabs or whatever. Um, yeah, I want to see for up smash because up smash actually recovers pretty fast. Dang. I think you have to be like near perfect or else Fox can just shine out of it. Oops. Dang. Why am I turning around? I get up tilt though. <laughs> yeah, grab is actually tight. But maybe I'm doing a little slow. The wave dash is slow too. Five frame wave dash. Three frame now. Uh, let me not use Fox. I don't know his timing that well. Um, go back to Marth. Make him do an up smash. Yeah, because I think I always thought this was like guaranteed stuff, but. Yeah, see, I missed. Gotta be kind of tight on the time. What? Wave dash was perfect. Probably just acting on a shield was slow. Nope. I'm not pressing that grab button too. Alright, there we go. But it's like, yeah, maybe if that's tight, uh, we'll want to try some other option that's... Nah, who am I kidding? I think the grab is the best option. What else can I do out of shield? It's not gonna work too well. Anything else? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's just kind of unfair, man. <laughs> I have to be perfect every time to punish Fox. Unless I'm just bad. Dang. Because, uh, I know I, like all the newbies will complain about Marth Forward Smash too. But as long as you're close enough, I feel like Marth Forward Smash is super easy to, uh, Oh, that's a down smash. Forward smash should be super easy to uh... Did that shield poke me? The hell? What? You learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah, so this distance, Marth will actually get shield poked. Just through the head, I guess. So if I... Oops. Angle my shield upwards. There we go. See? That's crazy. I hate this game. <laughs> but I love it. Can't believe. Hey, that's something to so, see. Something good to learn for uh, Mark Dittles. Even with a full shield at a certain distance, that force smash will just hit you. That respawn distance. All right, let's back up a little bit. You need just a particular spacing. Go forward a little, even. Yeah. Oop. <laughs> Maybe even turn around. That's crazy. I can't believe. Oh, didn't get hit by that one. It's the micro spacing. That's nuts. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I actually cannot believe. Eat. No. Yeah. 
Well, you can practice reversals, that's nice. And uh, power shielding lasers too. It tells you what you're doing too. It's like, oh, you didn't hard press too early. This hard press thing is interesting though. Oh, me, I'm just not holding it down, that's why. I'm like, how can I ever... Okay. I wonder if that's also cheating too. Crouching makes it a lot easier, supposedly, right? But yeah, I remember I would just like, practice this with my friend, and we'd both be Falco, and we'd shoot lasers at each other. It's like, this is just so much more efficient. Oh yeah, also with this training, you can uh, practice dashing out of your laser too. So it's like, tick laser dash, 6 frames. So like I could be doing it even faster. There, that's a 1 frame one. So we, if you get that down to like, you know, 1 to 3 frames, I'm sure it'll be very useful. In this matchup. Or just versus Falco in general. I don't know how Zane does like, power shields as he moves with his shield too, it's crazy. Oh, you can change the speed too, very nice. Be crazy if we could like change the height too, but I guess, I guess the height will be random. But yeah, plenty of things to practice. Practice attacking on shield. I guess you figure out like what things are safe and what things aren't. Um, near out of shield. It's like late fair, so it's like late fair you'll be okay, but if you do like a rising fair, anyone can just like anti-air you no problem. You could, yeah, space around it though. Like that. Yeah, it'll be up to your opponent to like catch you drifting back and then they won't do an auto shield option or something like that. Down tilt, super fast, super broken. Bang. Um, damn, these falling arrows are pretty good. Frame advantage only like minus one, minus two. Got hit there. Let's see, down air. Yeah, down air you're gonna get hit. Ledge tech. Oh yeah, this is nice too. Back in the old days where you have to just put a motion sensor bomb. Alright, not Yoshi's. Reno's gonna mess me up. We have to put a motion sensor at the at the edge of the stage just to practice this. This is gonna be a little more realistic, I guess. I don't feel like SDIing is needed if I just hold in. Oh, well. But yeah, as Marth, you could practice, uh... Well, just getting the tech to begin with. One sec. Hmm. I held uh, the C-Stick in that time. I don't know if it helps. Probably does, so... That's another thing to, like, build muscle memory for. Just, like, holding your C-Stick in to get that one input of ASDI or something like that. And you can practice doing your, uh wall jump back airs after the tech. Yeah, I don't know that timing well at all. It's something I could work on for sure. <laughs> or double up, yeah. That could be useful. Oh, the spacing. Another one. Yeah, and like PPU said, you can use this to practice recovery too. Alright, there we go. Finally got one. And recovered. That's nice. Alright, that'll be it for this week, guys. Definitely give Uncle a punch a try if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys next week.